Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing a lovely tag created by Kara C. This is the My Beauty Community tag. This was created in response, of course, to Shane Dawson's horrible, terrible rant on Twitter about how toxic the beauty community is, even though he was really just talking about himself and his own life. I did do a big, not a big, I did do a long live stream talking through that entire situation and giving my full thoughts on it. So if you missed that, I will throw it up in the cards. I went live last Sunday and did that. So make sure you check that out if you want to see my full thoughts on it, because this video is going to be just a really, like, I hope fun, positive video talking about some of the people in my beauty community that I love, that I look up to, and that I really just enjoy watching. Also, I got new light bulbs for my lamp over here, so like, it's purple right now. And I can change the color, so let's see. I can only change one light bulb at a time right now, though. I'm still learning. So let's see, light bulb one. Let's see, should we make it yellow? I can barely see that, huh? Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Well, it's not that quick. <laughs> Anyway, I love this and I want to do some, I don't know, I'm gonna try and make really cute lighting back here. So anyway, I just thought that was, that was what I get excited about because I'm still just home most of the time. Anyway, anyway, uh, there are how many questions here? There are 10 questions. So let's just go ahead and jump in. And of course, everyone that I talk about is going to be linked down below. So the first question is, who is a creator that makes you laugh? And spoiler alert, I do have <laughs> quite a few of these questions where I have more than one answer. So there's gonna be a lot of people I'm talking about. The first person I'm gonna talk about is Rachel Maxi. So she technically isn't fully beauty anymore, but she did start out in beauty and then she did win the Nick's Face Awards a couple of years ago, which is when her channel kind of blew up from there. I just love her content and she and her dog Frodo just crack me up like every video she <laughs> oh my god I just I love her videos and I love that she focuses on what she loves to do and you can tell that she loves every video except for when she has to sew a lot because sometimes she doesn't really like all the sewing but you can tell that she's really enjoying it when she's filming and creating and sewing and just being herself so I love that. And it, every one of her videos cracks me up. I think the last video I watched of hers, I'll have it linked above, was um, she does a series called But Make It Vintage. And so she took the character Yizma from The Emperor's New Groove and she made like a, a vintage dress <laughs> based on her. And it was awesome. So I, I just love that. It's funny. It's, it's informative because I, I learn about sewing and stuff. I'm not really informed about sewing and cosplay and everything. So I still learn something every video I watch from her and I have fun. Every single video is hilarious. Next for a creator that makes me laugh is Nisi Pisa. She, oh my god, I don't know what it is about her dry humor and like her facial expressions and her body language. I, ugh, I love her. She's hilarious. I especially love her, she does skits about like behind the scenes at separate like beauty brands, like the Tarts have the Barbaras. I, I, I just love everything that she does and she cracks me up. And she's very inspiring too. And I feel like I'm really drawn towards creators that are like in their mid twenties, like figuring things out. And I don't know, I just, I really love her channel. I love her content and she's hilarious. <laughs> The last creator I have in this makes me laugh category is Teresa is dead. I adore Teresa. She's um, from a local area. I live in North New Jersey and I commute towards the city a lot. She lives in like, uh, she, is it Brooklyn or Queens? She's in Queens, I think. And she travels to Manhattan for work. So I really related a lot to her subway stories, which I think that's how I first found her. I was recommended a video where it was a story time uh, of the one of her first subway stories. And so after that, I was hooked and I was like, this is hilarious. And just, yeah, her work stories, her subway stories, her family stories, they're hilarious and amazing. And I, I, I love that. And then she's also got this amazing makeup collection, can do amazing makeup, and just, I, I look up to her so much. And I love that she's created a life that she's happy with. Like, her and her husband have a great apartment, she works in the city, she's got an awesome makeup collection, just, ah, and she's hilarious. Like, shut up, no, no one can be that talented, okay? <laughs> but she is, and I love her channel. Question number two is, who is a creator that teaches you? So I have two creators here. The first one I want to mention is LS. Now, LS could, like, almost quite honestly fit every single one of these questions for me because I just look up to her so much. I found her early on, um, I want to say like two years ago. She was one of the first smaller creators that I started watching on YouTube. 
and her panning series, all of her panning tips. I learned so much watching her panning videos, especially like her original, she panned the whole naked palette, which was hella inspiring to me. And I feel like whenever I watch specifically her videos, when she uses Natasha Denona products or when she's panning something, even when she's not framing it as like a tip video, um, I'm learning something every single video of hers and specifically her tip video she does have a couple of like tips and tricks for panning products I'll have one of those linked up in the cards because they're incredibly helpful especially if you're just starting out panning a whole palette which is just such like a an intimidating thing to like start doing for the first time like when I first panned my first palette which was the Marc Jacobs style icon in Lolita I was so intimidated and scared but also excited and her videos really inspired me and I learned a lot and I just I love her I love her channel I love that she works in a library too as someone who worked in a bookstore and now works in publishing I love other people that love books so I love Elle's channel the other person that teaches me is uh, Will on a Whim. He's, he could also be hilarious. He's also hilarious, but I had enough people in my laugh category, so I put him down here because I do learn a lot from him. He is primarily a natural hair YouTuber here on YouTube, and he, well, A, he's hilarious. I also laugh in every one of his videos, but he's one of the only people where a, well, first of all, he's one of the only people where um, a sponsored video got me to buy the products and then love them. I'm very skeptical when it comes to sponsored, dedicated products in the beauty community, those kind of videos, just because they, they seem they seem kind of shilly, <laughs> shilly, and you really d you can't tell whether someone's like really being honest or not. But with his video, specifically when it came to the, um, the Royal Oils collection from Head and Shoulders, he's the reason why I bought that collection. And if you've seen any of my empties videos or my hair care videos over the last few months, I love that collection. It's affordable, it's great, and it's uh, I never would have found it if it wasn't for his sponsored video on that collection, which just, ah. So I love his content. I love that he's teaching me not only tips that could help me with my hair, which my hair is very different from his, but what he teaches also applies to different hair textures. Um, so not only am I learning more about my hair, I'm learning more about other textured hair, which I just, I love learning about other hair. I don't know why, but um, I just, I love watching his hair care videos. It's so relaxing too when he does like the hair washing videos. He's currently in the middle of a moving uh, series, a moving vlog series, and I also love moving vlogs. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is about seeing people pack things up and then reorganize a space and then shop for a new place. I, I love them. Like Taylor Wins, I'll talk about her later. But oh yeah, Taylor Wins moving vlogs are like, I love her moving vlogs so much. And I love Will and Wim's moving vlogs too. We like two or three episodes in, he's stretching it out a bit because I think he's, he's finally finished moving and he settled in and now he's going back and like editing the footage. So we're only a few videos in. I can't wait to see how his apartment turned out because his apartment tour, oh, it looked nice. So cannot wait to see how that turned out. But yeah, I would definitely recommend Will's channel, even if you don't uh, like have naturally curly hair or anything a he's hilarious you'll laugh at his videos and b he does some like reaction videos so th it's not all just uh like curly hair maintenance so there's something there's a little bit of something for everyone with this channel question number three is who is a creator that lifts others up so of course doing this tag the first person i thought of was kara c i am just so impressed that she saw this toxicity at the highest levels of the beauty community and saw what Shane had put out and her first like impulse was to bring positivity was to bring love isn't that incredible like even me I saw that and at first I was salty and then I was like mm. <laughs> and then I got my notes and started doing my research because I'm type a and that's how I do and then I was thinking about the rest of my community, but no, Kara, she immediately was like, how do I uplift people and how do I make my community better known and just spread positivity? And is that just not amazing? So yeah, she is a better person than I will ever be and I love her channel to bits. The other person I have in this category, creator that lifts others up, is Christina Cheng. I was lucky enough to get to know Christina over the last year, year and a half, and she's just such a beautiful person. And her community, her subscribers, they're so supportive, and I love all the projects that she puts together specifically. We're in the middle of our second year of the HP Project Pan, and I just love 
how welcoming and lovely everyone in her community is. We have this big group chat on Instagram with a lot of people involved in the HP Project Pan, and it was just overflowing with positivity. And I, I just love that she was able to create such an amazing space. And I love her as a person, and I love her channel. Question number four is, who is a creator that you respect? Now I have three here. So these are kind of the people I really look up to um, and see as like role models in like the bigger community. So the first person I have on here is Christine from Simply Nail Logical. I respect the hell out of her for being a big YouTuber. Like she's clearly made millions of dollars. She still works her day job, um, what she went to school for. She got a master's degree I want to I think it's a master's degree um so she got a master's degree she works this amazing job in like the government's crime statistics division up in Canada and she, she just seems so grounded and I love I love 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 the morals and the and what she like promotes like she's very big on uh, education she's always promoting education and i love that she's also promoting really healthy relationships and boundaries like i think they constantly get asked when are they going to get married and when are they going to have kids and as someone who is in a serious relationship um that doesn't want kids like i know now i don't want kids i really like seeing someone uh like christine who's open about it to an extent but then also like knows where to set boundaries because i feel like unfortunately in this day and age with um social media it's really easy to be like too much of an open book but i just i feel like i really like the way that she's set i, mean, I can only tell from what i see but i like the way that she has her life organized she's got her job she has her family she's got her cute as hell cats she has her youtube channel and now she has her hollow taco nail polish um, company which I'm wearing I, I love her nail polishes I have like over here I should do a collection video because I have so many hollow taco nail polishes but I got a bunch of them back here and they're really good and I love them and so I, I just respect the hell out of Christine the next creator that I really respect is a smaller um, youtuber I think she just hit a hundred thousand which I was really happy about uh, this is Sam Vey so she's in the, she's in the beauty space um, mainly like hair and not really curly hair like sometimes she does curly hair but um really she uh went through a lot in her 20s she i think from what i was able to see she like uh went to school got a degree worked a job in that field and then realized like she hated it <laughs> which it happens it does happen and so she decided to leave that job and she went back to school so she went and she got her cosmetology I don't know what it's actually called license I think it's called a license she went to school I think for two years uh, went through the cosmetology program and then started working a job that she loves which that is so inspiring right like to, and to see that process play out because her channel really started with vlogs about her in cosmetology school and so she's very thorough she talks about the whole process of applying of looking of you know the kit what comes in the kit and how going through school and what you have to do and how to organize and how to study and how to practice and then seeing her transition from there to working full-time in an actual salon and then choosing the right salon for you and just seeing her grow and oh my god i just i find her so inspiring and i love that and she also when she went back to school she had to like move back in with her parents and live with her parents and so she has a few videos about that which i can relate to <laughs> i'm in my mid-20s and i live with extended family because new jersey is expensive and also she's from pennsylvania so she's also kind of in my area but I just I find it so inspiring and she actually just finally after a few years of living back home she saved up and she just got her new apartment and I was so happy for her and I was watching her moving vlogs ah I think the, the secret of this video is that Monica really likes moving vlogs <laughs> but I just I've, I'm just so inspired by what she was able to accomplish and how happy she is now and uh, I just I feel like mm, that's that's really inspiring and if you haven't checked out her channel please do she's got an awesome channel all right, and the last person in this category, a creator I respect, of course, is Taylor Wynn. I have been watching Taylor Wynn, I think, since like 20, at least since 2015. Wow, that's incredible. It's been five years at least. I, I, lo I love her content. I love how organized and um, she's a lot like me. And like, like we have to, like, people like us, we're kind of like super organized. We have to really be busy kind of all the time. We work a lot. We just are going almost full speed ahead sometimes 
to the point where like you should back off and like take a break and learn how to relax but i just i really related to her and i love her 15 days of foundation series i love all of the charity work that she does specifically with project beauty share but she does other charity work too and again kind of like christine and like sam i just love the way that she is basically living her best life she originally she so she did go to school and she did have another um she had a full-time job and then I think she moved and was doing like her own freelance kind of company work and then once you know YouTube got to the point where she could just do YouTube as a job and be fine she then left um, I advocate for keeping your job but I know Taylor has a lot of extenuating circumstances especially with her her health she has a lot of health problems and the fact that she could go through and do all of this and keep working and traveling and doing all of this with all of her health problems that's hella inspiring and um, I saw recently she's been talking about uh, some great breakthroughs that have been happening with her health and some doctors that are doing some different things and really helping her more so I'm very happy to see that and she's just just a lovely person and so inspiring and I love especially seeing her now with Boy Rito because he reminds me of my own boyfriend when well, you know you've seen Alvin around uh, just I love her channel and I love how inspiring she is all right next one is who is a creator whose collection you love for this one, I had to pick Lauren May Beauty. I love how it's so her collection, it's very curated, but it's not like have like really minimalistic. And she also she did do she doesn't do it anymore, but she was a working makeup artist, and I saw a video where she went through her work bag and basically cleaned it out and decided what she's going to keep for her own collection and what she's going to like give away or what she has to get rid of. And I don't know, I just I love listening to her like talk through products. She's so knowledgeable and I, I love her collection and I love seeing her looks. I love seeing her thoughts on palettes specifically, especially her like redesigns of palettes or like um, taking bigger palettes and just making smaller versions of them. Oh my god, I love. I, I could listen to her talk all day and specifically about um, her collection. I think she has a great collection and I can't wait to see uh, what she does next. Question number six is, who is a creator whose creativity inspires you? So I have two here specifically. The first one is Badge of the Brow. Her her looks are just incredible. They look like they should be like in magazines. Like I see her videos in my subscription box and I'm just like, oh my god. Like her creativity is literally off the charts. Her looks are gorgeous. I love her videos and I love her presence too. She's just so calming and... Uh, I, I love her looks and whenever I see like her videos specifically for like greeny kind of brown looks oh, I just get so inspired I love her looks I love how she's like kind of outside the box but oh my god her looks are incredible the other person whose creativity inspires me is Butte Bean her channel I love her channel I love specifically she does she had the series of like swatch parties like comparing every green shadow comparing every yellow shadow and her looks i specifically love how um versatile she can get with like hair and wigs I, I just get so inspired seeing that and her looks just like every single thumbnail i see from her channel it's like a painting like her looks are incredible and she doesn't stick to kind of like one niche like she does this beautiful draping technique she does awesome like cute little faux freckles her eye looks are just incredible i can't even but uh those are two channels where like i see either one of their thumbnails or one of their videos and i remember why i fell in love with makeup and i get inspired to i don't care what time it is where i am i'm like i want to play with eyeshadow or i want to play with blush right now question number seven is who is a creator you'd like to be friends with in real life so honestly this could apply to anyone i've already talked about or who i'm going to talk about but the first one who came to mind was actually thrifty beauty she has uh she's not as active now but i find she's just so grounded and down to earth and it's just working through her actual like life it's her channel is a reflection of life i specifically love some of her um tutorial videos she did one of my favorite ever looks with the Too faced uh peach peach what's the called sweet peach palette oh my god i almost forgot it she did a look with the sweet peach palette called like the pumpkin spice tutorial and that's like one of my go-to favorite looks to this day i love that tutorial i love watching her project pans i loved just hearing her talk about life and like budgeting like she's so down to earth and like knows what she wants and just goes for it 
she so she did makeup for a while she um is currently working full-time i believe at a doctor's office still she's going back and like getting her certificate in like event planning because she really wants to do that which I, I find that inspiring yeah that's awesome and she's currently getting into running I used to I don't run that much anymore but I used to love running and I want to get back into running and seeing her get back into running is really inspiring me to get back into running and I don't know I feel like we would have a lot in common and I would love to be friends with her in real life all right so question number eight I have got a lot of people for this one since this is uh, who is a creator you'd hope to see grow so I have a couple of amazing friends that I've made here on YouTube and they've got smaller channels and I would love, love, love to see them grow too. Specifically Victoria, who's known as Rare Beauty Envy here on YouTube, uh, Kaylee Wesley, who uh, is just an amazing soul inside and out. I love her channel. I love her looks. And a good friend of mine, again, uh, Bougie Brie. She's got an amazing collection and she's an awesome person. She can crack me up no matter what time of day it is. I would love to see her channel grow as well. A couple of other people that whose channels I love that I would like to see grow, uh, Tara Brooke, love her channel, um, Elizabeth Christensen, and the Holistic Enchilada. Holistic Enchilada is a smaller curly hair YouTuber and just all of these channels. They bring so much to the table. They're so genuine and lovely and I want to see all of them grow. So yeah, I didn't, I couldn't just pick one. I had to throw all of my friends and people I, I wish would my friends here. We're nearing the end. Question number nine is, who is a creator that gives off good vibes? Now for this one, immediately came to mind, uh, was too much Tash. Whenever, like, if, even if I'm having like the worst day, if I'm not in a good mood, if I click into one of her videos, I just immediately like listening to her talk, I feel so calm and just like happy. I think it's the combination of how thorough she is and how well thought out her videos are, but then also how lovely her voice. Her voice is just so calming and I just, I, I don't know, I feel, it's not quite like ASMR, but I just, her videos are like a different kind of like dimension or state of being where it doesn't matter how I'm feeling, where I am. If I click into a too much Tash video, I know I'm going to be calm and happy and in my own little makeup world for however long the video is and so yeah she's definitely like one of the top people where they clearly have like their own happy vibe that just permeates through the screen and through the camera <sighs> i love her channel and last but not least question 10 is just honorable mention so i just want to throw in a couple of other channels that i absolutely love here first one is amanda bb she is a beauty and commentary channel i've been binging her videos i love her videos to bits uh, so i'll have her channel linked down below um Next, of course, Smoky Glow, another commentary channel that I absolutely adore. I love her videos. Again, and she's an, another person who is just like living her best life. She's, she's, is she still in school? I think she's just finished school and graduated and she'll, she's getting out there doing her own thing. She just got engaged. She has her own house. Goals, you know, goals. Um, Glitter and Lasers is the next one. I absolutely love her, both her Instagram and her, um, YouTube. I think she's she got really big and famous because of TikTok. I'm not I mean, I, I go on to TikTok, but I don't follow like specific people. I just kind of stay on my for you page and just get a couple of chuckles out, but she is just so she's like a ray of sunshine. And she's just so happy and positive. And even though she she's a plus size uh like fashion person, even though she is bigger than me, I still love watching her fashion uh like hauls and videos and like talking because she's so clearly educated and passionate about fashion and clothes and like the fact that she can like feel a piece of clothing and be like oh i think it's polyester and this and this and i'm like how do you know that she just knows so much she's clearly passionate about what she does and i i just i love her videos and she also gives me inspiration for where i want to buy clothes too i'm just now like on the cusp of plus size so I've been trying to decide whether I want to go and buy a few more clothes or do um, a different kind of like closet and uh, what I'm trying to say it's not closet what I'm trying to say what do you call all your clothes wardrobe that's what I'm calling it oof my brain just like Oofed for a second i was thinking of doing maybe like a wardrobe brew haul because i haven't really like honestly thinking about it now i can't remember the last time i actually bought clothing 
might have been around Christmas. I know I just bought some bras online because I needed bras, but I've been thinking about actually like purchasing clothes because I obviously haven't bought clothes in a long time. Um, and I love her haul videos. I just love seeing different clothings and seeing where she gets them. And she's just really, really happy and inspiring and knowledgeable. The last honorable mention I have here is T, also known as Nappy Headed Jojoba here on YouTube. I, I just, her commentary, quick as a whip. I, I love listening to her uh, live streams. I do wait until her live stream is over because um, I do like listening to live streams like podcasts so I will speed them up so I can kind of pay attention a little bit better. Love her live streams. I love her hot takes and uh, I love her slogan which is never trust anyone with a Morphe code. <sighs> Inspiring. Yes. So I love her channel too. So it seems like a lot of these, uh, they're honorable mentions because they focus more on things that aren't necessarily beauty, uh, but I still love these channels and I do consider them part of my beauty community. All right, so that is everything for this My Beauty Community tag. I had so much fun. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, if you haven't uh, heard of any of these channels, please check them out down below. Give them a little bit of love. Hopefully you can find some room for them in your beauty community because we could all use a little more love and positivity right now. If you are watching this and you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram, I tag you to do this tag. I cannot wait to see everyone else in my little community. Also, if I tagged if I tagged you down below as part of my beauty community, I also tag you to do this tag. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone's answers and just I just can't wait to see all the positivity that's being spread and all the love because that is what our beauty community is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.